Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Biotics Lab Suicidal, and I have a 6 terabyte hard drive sitting in my dresser. I bought it a, uh, like a week or two ago now, and I've just been far too lazy to actually like open up my computer and install it. So I'm still running out of disk space from time to time, like I still have videos that come up and are like, oh you're out of disk space, so uh, sucks to suck, idiot. And I'm like, ah crap. <laughs> I really gotta install that uh, that hard drive. And it's like, I wanna, I've been wanting to watch Death Note again recently. So I'll have to like, re, you know, re-legally download it. Um, look, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you. What, what's, your, what's your view on pirating? Okay. My, my view on pirating is, uh... Now that's bullet time. That uh, it's generally pretty bad. Back in the game. Um... <sighs> But, as long as you're also supporting the, the creators monetarily somehow, like, my, my view of it is that if you have a Crunchyroll subscription, I'm better from, from like, the, you know, creator of Death Note perspective than, uh, than you are from them, because, uh, you know, I've, I've bought Death Note merch, which is more money to the creators than Crunchyroll's ever going to give them. Because um, you look at, like, a Crunchyroll subscription, right? It's like... Seven dollars a month or something. How many anime are are available on the platform? Like thousands. How much? How much are they getting paid for? Like the licensing fees? Like like it's j it j you just you just you can't really look at the at the subscription fee as being enough. To, I mean they have like merch and stuff too, but it's it's just I don't I don't feel like there's enough going on there. So as, as long as you're, uh, you're, you know, supporting them financially somehow through, like, a reasonable means, you know, Crunchyroll I would not consider to be a reasonable means of supporting the creators. I'd consider it a reasonable means to morally and legally obtain, um, anime. I, I just, I wouldn't consider it to be a, a very... Uh, well, I, I guess I, I'd consider it a, a way to, to legally obtain anime. I wouldn't necessarily consider it a, like, morally... You know, praiseworthy way to to, to obtain anime. I th I think that uh, buying the Death Note discs and then pirating it or something, or like buying Death Note merch or something like like that kind of stuff is 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 so much more valuable than a Crunchyroll subscription or or a Funimation subscription or something. Like it's just you know, how, how much is your subscription? How much of that is having to go towards like paying for the the translating team and the web team and the server hosting and all this kind of stuff. How much of it is actually going towards like licensing fees for for all of these anime? Just I don't I don't feel like it can be that much. And I don't know, maybe the numbers are are, are great. I'd be really really surprised. Um so anyway, I've I wanted to watch Death Note again. Cuz uh I've been doing Type Racer a lot lately. I hit a thousand races in Type Racer actually, so that's pretty pretty sweet. My average word per minute is up to like 133 or something like that right now. Nine, top top one top point one percentile of typists. It actually has that. On, I was talking about it recently, but like what what percentile am I in? It has it right on the website. I'm um I'm you know 99.9 percentile or whatever. Top point one percent. I'm better than 99.9 percent .9 of the typists on Type Racer. Which is what I expected to be. Like, I'm pretty sure I said that, right? Um, that's expected. But it was it was cool to see. I guess we're pivoting to typing. Uh, we don't have enough time to talk about too many topics, and typing right now is kind of. Um, I I I I, uh, I was I was checking out the Type Racer subreddit, and. Uh, I saw this one person who had like 10,000 races and their average was like 80 or 90 words per minute and I'm just like, you know, every, everybody's different, right? But I just, I don't see how you can do 10,000 races and not improve to like at least 100 words per minute. Like I just, I don't see how that could be done. And I think it boils down to, to people just like not practicing right. You know, like like you should do things that are going to be like you shouldn't be trying to, to do it as easy as possible. You should try and do the right thing and do it over and over again until you you do it 
right you know like perfect practice makes perfect um but imperfect practice just makes perfect imperfections you know what i mean so you gotta you gotta like practice right but like if you do ten thousand races i just i don't see how you couldn't get to, to like 100 words per minute it's baffling to me and uh like looking at the subreddit so many people like being proud of hitting like 100 words per minute after thousands of races and stuff and i'm like <laughs> what? Like, I just for for me, it's it's incredible because I've always been a, a fast typist. I mean, it's not like it's not bad, right? If you're typing at like 80 words per minute or something like that, like it's not like I, I disrespect you or I think you're dumb or something. It's just like it's surprising to me because it's been such a a natural thing for me for for so long. Like I got into to typing when I was really 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 young, like eight or something eight or nine um in in class we had like we had computer class and we had typing classes um and i got super super into the the typing games that they had um and i've kind of always been into typing games uh they they just super super they're just super fun um but it was kind of uh, it was kind of fun playing those so i just i did it a lot and i didn't have like friends so I just, I did it a lot, and uh, like, since I was like 10 or 11 years old, I've been typing at like 100 words per minute. Um, it's just a very natural thing for me, you know? And so when I was kind of like looking at it and people are struggling to hit 100 words per minute, like I, I made a, a post on the subreddit saying that uh, I finally got my 1,000 races. And they're like, yeah, in 750 races, you know, my best is 99, I just can't break through 100. And it's like... It's just mind-boggling that that people can't do it. Cause, cause to me, it's it's just it's such a natural thing. I mean, we can do another race, I guess. We'll 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 do a, a quick race here. We'll we'll do a quick race so I can show off my elite racing skills. Oh, I have my webcam still being captured. Get rid of that. That was a long race and I got 138, you know? Like, it's just, it's it's so second nature to me to just type quickly. That uh, it's it's mind-boggling that, that people are struggling to hit, like, 100. Like, that was, that was me typing. And I was, like, slowing down at times. And I made mistakes. Excuse me, just a hiccup there. Um... Like that was that was a slow race for me, right? Like that wasn't quick. I wouldn't I wouldn't consider that to be a, a particularly stellar performance. But for other people, it's like twice as fast as their best, and I'm like, it's just not even that fast for me. Like I had time to think, you know. And I've uh, I've uh, I kind of get it to a certain extent because um, when I first switched over to this new typing style, I was typing faster, and even still. Even even still to this day, like I type faster than my brain can like process the like letters that I have to press, and it happens like often where I'll, I'll like type in a bunch of words and I just won't even know where I'm at once I start to like think about it. But I just kind of like turn off my brain and type the words, and they just go by really quickly. Um, and uh, it's just. Uh, I don't know, it's, 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 it's mind-boggling that people can have so much trouble with it. It really is. Well, that, that people can have so much trouble with it after they invest so much time in it. Because I changed my typing, like, strategy completely. Um, like, how I type. Drastically changed it. Um, like, six or seven months ago. I talked about it in a video back then. Um, mostly in the descriptions of videos. I don't think I really talked about it too much actually in videos, but I definitely uh, mentioned it in the descriptions of, uh, of a few. Um, I changed it drastically, like how I was 
typing was very, very drastically changed. And, um, you know, it, it, it took me a couple weeks to get back to 100 words per minute or so. And uh, then a few months to get up to like 130 average. And uh, now I can type like, you know, 140, 150 fairly consistently, fairly easily. And it's just, uh, to me, I just, I can't see how you, if you're putting in proper practice and actually like earnestly trying to get better, I just, I don't see how you could do like 10,000 races and not get to at least 100. Like, I'll, I'll be the first to admit that, that typing like a 150 is not a simple task, okay? Like, just like, from, from like, just a, a brain comprehension perspective, you were typing too quickly Looks like Tofu's got to be able card. to consciously make the decision about where your fingers are going. You do not have the time to do that when you're typing as quickly as I'm typing. You just, you don't have the time. You know, like you're, you're just, again, we'll, we'll, we'll do another race here real quick. Like, just, just listen to how quickly the keys are being clicked. Like, my, my brain does not have the time to respond to each key as I'm pressing it. It's just not there. It just isn't. Well, if I do it so bad, yeah, that was a just a terrible, terrible, terrible race. Like ninety-five percent accuracy and still a hundred words per minute. Oops, wrong one. This one. Terrible race. Horrible race. Like, you could see the number of mistakes I make there, and it's still, like, 100 words per minute. I mean, I didn't get to do, like, a particularly good race. Um, you just, you just, when you're typing, like, 100 words per minute, as you can see there, you can make mistakes and have the time to, like, think about what you're doing and, and correct it. But when you're typing, like, 150, you don't. You just don't. So I'll be the first to admit that 150 is, is, a, is a complicated and, and impressive thing. I'm not, uh, I'm not trying to sandbag or anything on that. Um, but at 100, I just, I, I feel like your brain has the time to, to consciously make those decisions about the, about the letters that you're pressing. So as long as you're, you know, trying to get better, I feel like a few thousand races and you should just naturally hit, a, you know, 100 words per minute. You know, at least after a few thousand races. I think it's, I think it's, um, it, it comes down to, to some people just being bad at practicing, honestly. And again, if, you, if you've done 10,000 races and, and you're not able to hit 100 words per minute, like, I'm not trying to disrespect you. It's just, um, I, I think that a lot of people just aren't very good at practicing. Just in general, you know, like with anything. So I, I think a lot of people try and like, like they find an easy way to do it or something. And they're like, oh yeah, like I can do like this. This is this is like a nice little trick. I can do this. I can do that. You know, like whatever. Um, that's not that's not what you want to do though. Like you want to do it. It, 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 it. Generally speaking, it's a lot more beneficial to make mistakes as you're trying to do it the right way than it is to to not make mistakes doing it the wrong way. You know, like if you have to just slash your typing speed to like. A third of what it is because you're just making constant mistakes and not able to do it right but you're at least following some decent practices and using all your fingers you're not looking at the keyboard you're you're paying attention to the text looking ahead a little bit like you're doing all the things that you need to be doing to be able to type quickly you're just going to develop the muscle memory but if you're like looking at the keyboard constantly and you're not like trying you're not challenging yourself you're not going to improve and I, I think that that's kind of why um some people do like so many like thousands and thousands of races and are still stuck at like 80 words per minute I, th I think it's just because they're not challenging themselves you know like they're trying to do what they're doing but faster when that's not really it like what you're doing isn't fast clearly you have to you have to change what you're doing you're gonna cut your your typing speed like i i was doing like 110 130 ish like somewhere in that range i changed my typing speed i went down to like 40 words per minute for like a week and I, I slowly worked my way back up, and now I type like 150, you know? Like, you have to challenge yourself and, and try and try to improve. Otherwise, you're not going to 
see those improvements. If, if you just keep doing the same thing, you're not it, improvement doesn't happen naturally. You have to put in an effort and try to try to make it better, you know. But if you if you just keep practicing the same thing over and over again, you're going to get really good at doing exactly what you're doing. But if you want to do something else, you have to do something else, you know. Anyway, it was just it was really weird seeing so many people with so many thousands of races who are typing so slowly. It's just and I don't mean any disrespect, you know. Like I've I, I, I learned when I was very young. Maybe I have some kind of, you know, natural benefit from having done that. Maybe when you learn young it's just easier to learn. But uh you know, I just I I feel like it's just a, a problem with practice in general. A lot of people just don't do it right. They don't try and challenge themselves, and uh, you have to do that. The more the more mistakes you're making, trying to do the right thing, the better. You know, and then uh, eventually those mistakes will kind of fly away, and uh, then you add in some more mistakes, and you try and fix them. You know? Anyway, that's going to do it for today. So, thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future comments. And I'm going to go to bed. Good night.